Hello, I'm Rod Sampson, the US agent for Brunton's Propellers. In this video, we're going to continue our refurbishment of this Autoprop H6 propeller. In the last couple of videos, we've gone through how to service the propeller on a yearly basis, switch out the uh, zincs and um, repump re the grease throughout the propeller. We started to, uh, on the last video, is to start to take off the caps uh, using all the, the uh, tools provided and uh, I uh, was left uh, trying to get as large a hammer as possible and as much leverage as possible to uh, try and strip it down. Anyway, I've been successful uh, using the, the peg spanner. Um, I guess one of the take homes I've had was the most important thing is to, to be able to grip the blades and what this I did was actually use some soft jaws on the vise, uh, wrapped leather around the blade so it didn't mark it and then I, we tried to break the uh, seals with just a hammer, um, tap tap tap, um, that didn't quite work. So what I actually ended up using was just taking this little wrench that uh, Brunton supply and sticking it in a huge long piece of pipe and then from this I was able to get enough torque on the uh, on the on the, uh, the wrench, not to apply too much force, and it just gently broke. And once it broke, it's very very easy just to um, just to wind them off. So what we'll go through in this video is I'm just going to basically strip down. Um, we'll probably just do one of the blades um, and just in, and just show you how what to expect. Now, I've actually had a go at this one, so let's let's have a look at one I haven't had a go at and uh, see how we get on. So the first thing is to get the cap off. Now, I, I, I say I did break the seal on these um, uh, uh, last night, um, so they have been a bit easier. This one hasn't been off yet, so I'm not quite sure what's inside. One of them is, that's probably this one. Let's have a look at this one. one of them is uh, more corroded Ooh. than the others. Yeah, I can feel that. So, as I say, the, the grease porch, which you can see just on here, um, have been painted over severely so it's not clear as to what condition it is in on the inside and it's just a case of just taking your time and just winding oh, winding the nut off it's a little awkward to do this because I'm doing it backwards to what I would normally do for the camera and there we go it's just popped off Okay, it's a little o-ring there, it's quite dry. You can see what's happened there. It's inside. So that's not been greased for quite some time. Um, it looks just like that. The o-ring has uh, reached the end of its life, it's, it's kind of hard. But you can see that inside the groove, the, uh, the bottom paint and the ablative has gone inside and has actually started to bond with the o-ring and uh, so we have to do all those fresh. Now we just get something to put those on. So that's the cap. It looks just like that and it's just a bronze cap with an o-ring on just to uh, keep all the grease inside. You can see the grease pores on the top and there's another one just here that uh, needs a little bit of work on it. So the next thing one we need to look at is just to reveal. So this is a, what's called a tab screw. So the little tabs just don't like that. Now on this one you may think it says H7. It doesn't actually. It actually says LH left hand. So it's a left handed thread. So to um, to get it off, you go the opposite way, so you're just going to be as though you were tightening it rather than loosening it, and this just helps to keep the uh, to keep everything on. And then this one, I think, will come away. We'll see. Yeah. Now inside this one, uh, when you put it back together, you do actually put Loctite on. So sometimes it does need a little bit of heat to pull it off. And sometimes it does not. So I 
And again, this is the, the little peg spanner that you get off the website. I actually had to modify this. Um, I don't know if you can quite see this. But the pegs were actually too large. So what I've actually done is, is filed them down. I'm not sure if it's a, a just a one-off, um, but it's it was just a, a little 10 minute job with a, um, with a hand file to get it all perfect. And as you can see, it's biting lovely. There's not much force required. It's just, um, just the Loctite is really the, the one thing that's keeping it all together. So, just wind that one off. Again, probably the one of the most important things for this is to have a, a good workbench where you can clamp and hold the propeller. This one's not too bad. Okay, we should be nearly there. So it's a good idea to have lots of rags for this. And this one just winds off. And there you go. So, so that's the old one. And we'll swap it out for a new one. You can see it's got one of the tabs has been uh, pushed down. The next thing, and this is, this is what holds it all together. This is just the, uh, the lock nut. And this is a, a conventional thread and Again, it needs a little special tool, and we'll see if we can do this one again. Give it a clean inside so you can see. There you go. You can see the bearing just down on here, and the, so the nuts. See the little slots for the nut. Just slots on. This is a three-quarter. Oh, that's actually not too bad. Three-quarter socket, just on this little till, and we just wind it away. Now at this point, before I go any further, it's a good idea to mark your blades. Because once they're on the bench, it's going to be incredibly difficult to do so. So two, one, and I'll have to pay attention that I don't actually take the paint off and lose my marks. Okay, so we know what the what all the propellers and where they go because it's been dynamically balanced, and we don't want to upset that. So now it's just a case of winding this off. And as soon as this is released, the blade is going to be free. So if you have a, a roller bearing style, let's just tighten that just a little bit. And again, it's just while handling the propeller. That's a good move. So if you have got a, a roller ball system, This is when they can potentially spill everywhere. Okay, so I'm just going to do this for the camera so you can so you can see what's going on. And then inside this one we just pull the nut back. Now the next thing that's going to be exposed this is a taper roller bearing and the blade should slide off, yes it does, with that in place. So you can see 
now. You can see the lip seal here, that's what it's embedded in. You've got the race for the, for the thrust bearing, and then inside the blade, this part here, you can see the taper roller bearing, and this all should come out. So these have had a good life. They've been encapsulated in grease, and this is, they've been in water, so um, it's, it's nice to see that they're in good shape. Um, there's lots of lubrication on them, as you can see. It's very gooey and very sticky. So the next thing now is just to start cleaning the grease up. And then once we've cleaned all the grease up, um, we can uh, start inspecting it and see see where we are and whether it needs to go back. So I'm just going to come up to uh, the factory for a, a refurbish. Or whether we can just start rebuilding. So it's it's. I would say it's quite a for the for the older propellers. It's something to be to consider um, that this may be the case because what we tend to find is that on this here, it's a little pointing device. So on here, you tend to find that the um, if if the zincs have not been kept up, it'll crumble and it'll be um, it'll all be corroded, and then inside, once you start trying to take all the parts out and put all the bearings back in, um, the uh, the races and stuff will be worn as well. So we need just to check everything, clean everything up, inspect it, and then take the next blade off, the next blade, the next blade, and then once we've got everything done, we can clean it all up, get around with a strip down the ablative, get rid of that, um, get rid of all the seals and everything, and then we'll start putting it back together. So let me, I've done one blade, I'll uh, close this one and uh, I'll uh, go around and do all the other two blades and we'll have it all laid out on the bench so you can see what the fully exploded uh, propeller looks like. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video.